More than 90% of Florida's oysters come from Apalachicola Bay, and the million-dollar industry built around it is one of the biggest assets to the area's local economy. But recently, a sharp decline in the oyster's population has oystermen, local residents, and state officials worried that the oyster's future is in jeopardy. Tongers are returning with their harvest after a day out on Apalachicola Bay. Their catch looks pretty impressive to the untrained eye, but those who live and work around the bay know this small catch is a very big warning sign. So about a month ago, a group of us at the University of Florida um, became aware of the dire situation in Apalachicola Bay with the oysters. And there's quite a few people at the university that have been working with the oysters in the bay, with the community up in that area, and we thought that we had the expertise that we could go in and help make a difference. Historically, Apalachicola Bay has always been a great spot for oysters. Just sort of right on out of there. It's an interesting ecosystem. It's a very unique ecosystem that has allowed for fantastic production of oysters, some of the best oysters in the world, actually. Um, I mean, the bay is known for the quality of the oysters and the taste of the oysters. And it's, it's sort of a perfect recipe. You have a river, river flowing into the bay with high levels of nutrients. Um, stimulating growth of oysters, fish, and other organisms. Um, typically about a 20-day flushing time of water through the system. And uh, so it's been very productive historically. The team of experts will be looking at a number of factors that could be affecting the population. We've been pulling together all the information that we can on salinity, on fisheries, pressure on the oysters, on changes in water chemistry, um, biological things, pathogens that might be affecting the oyster, um, predators that eat the oysters. It's a complex situation, but one possible cause may be the ongoing drought. It's affecting the amount of fresh water flowing from the Apalachicola River into the bay. Clearly the, the salinity is one of the factors. Um, the flow from the river into the bay is so low that it's below the 98 year average that the core keeps of the range of flows that have happened from that ecosystem. So the low flow into the system is probably one of the major drivers, although we want to look at the data carefully and look at that relative to all the other things so that we, we come to some conclusions that are based on the evidence. Officials thought the oyster decline was an isolated incident, but similar situations in other areas are proving them wrong. When we went into this, we thought this was an isolated thing in Apalachicola Bay. And what we've realized since then is that it's more broad, broad spread, that there are die-offs of oysters from Cedar Key, all the way up around the Big Bend into the panhandle of Florida, perhaps. And now we're seeing reports that on the Atlantic side of the state, there's a similar thing happening. And it's probably all related to a similar phenomenon, which is we've been in a drought, there's less fresh water flowing to the coast, and all those systems are then experiencing increases in predation on the oysters, maybe increased disease of the oysters. And so similar kinds of things. The bay is the epicenter because that's the most productive oyster population. So economically, that's a really important area. And so it seems almost like a perfect storm of conditions that are affecting the oysters. The low flow, increased predation on the oysters, the folks that are there making a living on the oysters have had to fish in a much smaller area of the bay. And so in turn, the, um, the oyster population has declined from that fishing pressure. And if you put all that together, it's not been, it's not been a good situation for the oysters in the bay. Officials aren't willing to speculate if they'll find a definitive culprit to the crisis or if there is even a way of slowing down the decline. But they're going to try. We're going to get to the bottom of it with good science and figure out what's happened and hopefully make some sensible recommendations on, on what can be done to turn things around. This hour's newsmaker has focused on the declining oyster population of Apalachicola Bay.